Hello and welcome to Oil for the Journey. My name is Andy Benedict and I will be your journey reader for today's reading from the book of Exodus chapters 34 through 36. Our reading is taken from the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth Bible reading plan. So welcome again and let's begin. Now the Lord said to Moses, cut out for yourself two stone tablets like the former ones, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the former tablets, which you shattered. So be ready by morning and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. And no man is to come up with you, nor let any man be seen anywhere on the mountain. Even the flocks and the herds may not graze in front of that mountain. So we got two stone tablets like the former ones and Moses rose up early in the morning and went up to Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him and he took two stone tablets in his hand and the Lord descended in the cloud and stood there with him and he called upon the name of the Lord Then the Lord passed by in front of him and proclaimed the Lord the Lord God compassionate and gracious slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness and truth who keeps loving kindness for thousands, forgives iniquity, transgression, and sin. Yet he will by no means leave the guilty unpunished, visiting the iniquity of fathers on the children and on the grandchildren to the third and fourth generations. And Moses made haste to bow low toward the earth and worship. And he said, If now I have found favor in thy sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go along in our midst, even though the people are so obstinate. And do thou pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us as thine own possession. Then God said, Behold, I am going to make a covenant. Before all your people I will perform miracles which have not been produced in all the earth, nor among any of the nations, and all the people among you, excuse me, among whom you live, will see the working of the Lord. For it is a fearful thing that I am going to perform with you. Be sure to observe what I am commanding you this day. Behold, I am going to drive out the Amorite before you, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Watch yourself that you make no covenant with the inhabitants of the land into which you are going, lest it become a snare in your midst. But rather, you are to tear down their altars and smash their sacred pillars, and cut down their asherim, for you shall not worship any other god. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous god. Lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they play the harlot with their gods, and sacrifice to their gods, and someone invite you to eat of his sacrifice. And you take some of his daughters for your sons, and his daughters play the harlot with their gods, and cause your sons also to play the harlot with their gods. You shall make for yourself no molten gods. You shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. For seven days you are to eat unleavened bread, as I commanded you, at the appointed time in the month of Aviv. For in the month of Aviv you came out of Egypt. The first offspring from every womb belongs to me, and all your male livestock, the first offspring from cattle and sheep. And you shall redeem with a lamb the first offspring from a donkey. And if you do not redeem it, then you shall break its neck. You shall redeem all the firstborn of your sons, and none shall appear before me empty-handed. You shall work six days, but on the seventh day you shall rest. Even during plowing time and harvest, you shall rest. And you shall celebrate the Feast of Weeks, that is, the first fruits of the wheat harvest, and the Feast of Ingathering at the turn of the year. Three times a year all your males are to appear before the Lord God, the God of Israel. For I will drive out nations before you and enlarge your borders, and no man shall covet your land when you go up three times a year to appear before the Lord your God. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, nor is the sacrifice of the feast of Passover to be left over until morning. You shall bring the very first of the first fruits of your soil into the house of the Lord your God. You shall not boil a kid in its mother's milk. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write down these words, for in accordance with these words I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. So he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He did not eat bread or drink water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And it came about when Moses was coming down from the mountain, from Mount Sinai, 
and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand as he was coming down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he was speaking with him. So when Aaron and all the sons of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. Then Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the rulers in the congregation returned to him, and Moses spoke to them, and afterwards all the sons of Israel came near, and he commanded them to do everything that the Lord had spoken to him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take off the veil until he came out. And whenever he came out and spoke to the sons of Israel what he had been commanded, the sons of Israel would see the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone. So Moses would replace the veil over his face till he went in to speak with him. Then Moses assembled all the congregation of the sons of Israel and said to them, These are the things that the Lord has commanded you to do. For six days work may be done, but on the seventh day you shall have a holy day, a Sabbath of complete rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. You shall not kindle a fire in any of your dwellings on the Sabbath day. And Moses spoke to all the congregation of the sons of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded, saying, Take from among you a contribution to the Lord. Whoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it as the Lord's contribution, gold, silver, and bronze, and blue, purple, and scarlet material, fine linen, goat's hair, and ram's skins dyed red, and porpoise skins, and acacia wood, and oil for lighting, and spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense, and onyx stones and setting stones for the ephod, and for the breast piece. And let every skillful man among you come, and make all that the Lord has commanded. The tabernacle, its tent and its covering, its hooks and its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets. The ark and its poles, the mercy seat, and the curtain of the screen, the table and its poles, and all its utensils, and the bread of the presence. The lampstand also for the light and its utensils, and its lamps, and the oil for the light. And the altar of incense and its poles, and the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense, and the screen for the doorway at the entrance of the tabernacle and the altar of burnt offering, with its bronze grating, its poles, and all its utensils, the basin and its stand, the hangings of the court, its pillars and its sockets, and the screen for the gate of the court, the pegs of the tabernacle and the pegs of the court and their cords, the woven garments for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister as priests. Then all the congregation of the sons of Israel departed from Moses' presence, and everyone whose heart stirred him, and everyone whose spirit moved him, came and brought the Lord's contribution for the work of the tent of meeting, and for all its service, and for the holy garments. Then all whose hearts moved them, both men and women, came and brought brooches, and earrings, and signet rings, and bracelets, and articles of gold. So did every man who presented an offering of gold to the Lord. And every man who had in his possession blue and purple and scarlet material, and fine linen and goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and porpoise skins brought them. Everyone who could make a contribution of silver and bronze brought the Lord's contribution, and every man who had in his possession acacia wood for any work of the service brought it. And the skilled women spun with their hands, and brought what they had spun, in blue and purple and scarlet material, and in fine linen. And all the women whose heart stirred with the skill spun the goat's hair, and the rulers brought the onyx stones for the stones for setting, for the ephod, and for the breastpiece, and the spice, and the oil for the light, and for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense. The Israelites, all the men and women whose heart moved them to bring material for all the work which the Lord had commanded through Moses to be done, brought a free will offering to the Lord. Then Moses said to the sons of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all craftsmanship, to make designs for working in gold, and in silver, and in bronze, and in the cutting of stones for settings, and in the carving of wood, so as to perform in every inventive work. He also has put in his heart to teach, both he and Aholiav, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to perform every work of an engraver, and of a designer, and of an embroiderer in blue and in purple and in scarlet material and in fine linen and of a weaver 
as performers of every work and makers of designs. Now Bezalel and Aholiab and every skillful person in whom the Lord had put skill and understanding to know how to perform all the work in the construction of the sanctuary shall perform in accordance with all that the Lord has commanded. Then Moses called Bezalel and Aholiab and every skillful person in whom the Lord had put skill, everyone whose heart stirred him to come to the work to perform it. And they received from Moses all the contributions which the sons of Israel had brought to perform the work in the construction of the sanctuary. And they still continued bringing to him free will offerings every morning. And all the skillful men who were performing all the work of the sanctuary came, each from the work which he was performing. And they said to Moses, The people are bringing much more than enough for the construction work which the Lord commanded us to perform. So Moses issued a command, and, and a proclamation was circulated throughout the camp, saying, let neither man nor woman any longer perform work for the contributions of the sanctuary. Thus the people were restrained from bringing any more. For the material they had was sufficient and more than enough for all the work to perform it. And all the skillful men among those who were performing the work made the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twisted linen and blue and purple and scarlet material with cherubim, the work of a skillful workman, Bezalel, made them. The length of each curtain was 28 cubits, and the width of each curtain 4 cubits. All the curtains had the same measurements. And he joined five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he joined to one another. And he made loops of blue on the edge of the outermost curtains in the first set. He did likewise on the edge of the curtain that was outermost in the second set. He made 50 loops in one curtain, and he made 50 loops on the edge of the curtain that was in the second set. The loops were opposite each other. And he made fifty clasps of gold and joined the curtains to one another with the clasps. So the tabernacle was a unit. Then he made curtains of goat's hair for a tent over the tabernacle. He made eleven curtains in all. The length of each curtain was thirty cubits and four cubits the width of each curtain. The eleven curtains had the same measurements. And he joined five curtains by themselves and the other six curtains by themselves. Moreover, he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was outermost in the first set. And he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was outermost in the second set. And he made fifty clasps of bronze to join the tent together, that it might be a unit. And he made a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red, and a covering of porpoise skins above. Then he made the boards for the tabernacle of acacia wood standing upright. Ten cubits was the length of each board, and one and a half cubits the width of each board. There were two tendons for each board fitted to one another. Thus he did for all the boards of the tabernacle. And he made the boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side. And he made forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for its two tenons, and two sockets under another board for its two tenons. Then for the second side of the tabernacle, on the north side, he made twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. And for the rear of the tabernacle to the west, he made six boards, and he made two boards for the corners of the tabernacle at the rear. And they were double beneath, and together they were complete to its top, to the first ring. Thus he did with both of them for the two corners. And there were eight boards with their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, two under every board. Then he made bars of acacia wood, five for the boards of one side of the tabernacle, and five bars of the board for the other side of the tabernacle and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle for the rear side to the west. And he made the middle bars to pass through in the center of the boards from end to end. And he overlaid the boards with gold and made their rings of gold as holders for the bars and overlaid the bars with gold. Moreover, he made the veil of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen. He made it with cherubim, the work of a skillful workman. And he made four pillars of acacia for it and overlaid them with gold, with their hooks of gold, and he cast four sockets of silver for them. And he made a screen for the doorway of the tent of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen, the work of a weaver. And he made its five pillars with their hooks, and he overlaid their tops and their bands with gold, but their five sockets were of bronze. So Father, we thank you for this word, uh, this revelation of this tent of meeting that you commanded your people to build, that you might dwell with them. We thank you, Lord, that you have come to dwell with us by your Holy Spirit. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we would know more of your presence today and how 
we have been made skillfully and wonderfully in your hands. Amen.